Okay, hello everyone. Happy Friday. It's been a while since we've had a stream on a Friday. Welcome back. Welcome to ATC Harry. Welcome back to K Pit, aka Pittsburgh, the newest and latest airport from FieldBear.com. Come, as I promised you on Monday, as I promised to you on Wednesday, we are having a twilight stream today. So you can see the sun. Well, the sun is definitely setting. It's very beautiful, isn't it? Like, I just love sunset in this game. It's it's just so beautiful. So I'm not sure exactly um, how dark it's going to get. All I know is it's twilight. Well, not even that. It's almost sunset, and um, we're just going to see what happens. That's such a good picture from that angle. Look at the, like, the, uh, like the, the glistening sun. Like, that's just so good. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. I'm going to take a few screenshots, actually, uh, to see if I can get really good thumbnail. Uh, so yeah, welcome back to Cape Here. Shall we have a quick look just to see what planes we've got to play with? Uh, and then we can get the ball rolling. There's already a couple um, that are waiting to go. So Delta, I'm just looking for something that's different. Uh, loads of Southwest. Holy crap. The, the, all the Southwests are in. Hopefully they're not in for the night. Because uh, otherwise it's going to be a very, very quiet stream. Uh, can't quite make out what you are. But let's turn the lights on. You're in a United, United Express. Shall I turn the lights on? Shall we turn the lights on? Like it, it doesn't feel as dark now, does it? Lights on or lights off? <laughs> it's such a hard decision. I'm just going to leave them on. It will get darker. I do need to see what I'm doing. Ooh, a spirit wings in white. Unusual. What have we got around here? American, American, an American eagle. And I think that's a lot. So, yeah, let's see what happens. We've already got uh, an interesting um, plane to start us off. It's this one here. Uh, it's Code sign, call sign RVJ100. It's a tiny little itsy bitsy thing. I've got my clicker ready to rumble. Shall we get this show on the road? We're doing 7 pm to 8 pm in game time, which mirrors the stream, which is very rare. It doesn't happen very often. Here we go. Romeo Victor Juliet 100. Pushback approved. Expect runway 14. So because he's a little tiny itsy bitsy plane. I don't need pushback truck. Just approve. Oh, Reverse approval. Jet okay. 100. Because he's a tiny little itty bitty plane, uh, we can just like send him like straight to uh, the nearest runway, which is one four. Romeo Victor Juliet one zero zero approved. Expect runway one four. Okay, this one doesn't like me. This is why I hate little planes. Shall we try one more time? What a great start. Also, why is it doing that? Uh, there we go. That's why. Romeo Victor Juliet one zero zero approved. Expect runway one four. No, he's not having it. He's not. Oh, my God. Oh, I hate tiny little planes. I hate them. Right. Here we go. Approved. Expect runway one four. Approved. Expect runway one four. Rivers jet one zero zero. SMH. Really? Southwest three two four zero. Pushback approved. Expect runway one four. Oh, well, no, no, no. He needs to go to one zero center. We'll Push change it. We'll change Southwest it. 3240. It's fine. We, we've got time to change that one. Um, there's a friendly uh, call sign FDY uh, plane on his way in. He's about jet one zero zero ready to taxi. five miles away, I would say. Um, so we should be able to see him soon. Uh, not quite yet, but certainly very, very soon. Romeo Victor Juliet 100 continue taxi. Oh now he listens. Continue taxi. Rivers now, jet 100. Now he ground. listens. Rivers jet 100 ready to taxi. Wait. Romeo Victor Juliet 100 continue taxi. Continue taxi. Rivers jet 100. I think it says Rivers jet. Uh, they're saying Rivers jet, but there's nothing on the call sign like information page so I'm just gonna keep saying what I'm saying and hopefully it'll work hello sir
Look at that. It's blinding, isn't it? You can't even see the aeroplane hardly. <laughs> Turbo prop. Speedy little things. Right. Friendly 238, runway 10 left, clear to land. Let's get him geared up. Runway 10 left, clear to land. Friendly 238. Uh, Romeo Victor Juliet 100, runway 14, line up and wait. Runway 14, line up and wait. Rivers Gen 100. Southwest 3240, runway 10 center. Runway one there we zero go. Center. We've Southwest redirected him. Will he automatically go or do I need to say continue taxi? He will automatically go. Thank you very much. Okay. The friendly is uh, coming in soon. I'm, I can never remember actually. How big those ones are, I can never remember. I'm not sure, uh, but we'll find out soon enough, I guess. Uh, I think we've got time to get rid of him. Romeo Victor Juliet one zero zero runway one four cleared for takeoff. Runway one four. Looks quite cool, doesn't it? In the twilight colours. Imagine starting the stream with one of these. <laughs> Oh my god. Also guys, it is Be Bad Friday, so you know, that top right hand corner of the stream where it says zero. You know, feel free to uh, make that into a 25 and I can get a private lesson for diving. I actually found out only uh, within the last hour actually, uh, as I'm recording this stream, that uh, for an extra tenner I can get a full one hour instead of 30 minutes. Like that's such a bargain. Um, so it's something for me to think about for sure. Anyway, feel free to be bad. Romeo Victor Juliet 100, contact Pittsburgh departure on 119.35. Oh, just ignore me. Right. I'm not messing about with this dude. Uh, contact departure on 119.35. Departure on 119.35. Dear me. Good evening. Yeah, 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 whatever. Right, this is the friendly. Here it comes. Uh, I can already tell it's a small one. This makes me very sad. Uh, looks like a turbo prop. No, it's a single prop. Single prop. Look at the landing lights. That is cool. Very, very nice. Uh, I bet they look amazing, like, in the complete darkness. Right, you're landed. Right, we're going to leave him there because I want to catch. Um, where are you? There you are. I want to catch this dude. In fact, shall I go to F10? It'll be a bit closer. Right. The only one outgoing plane in the southwest. No incoming planes. I'm going to leave the friendly where he is for the moment just in case. Just in case we need him uh, shortly. Uh, let's get a nice shot of this dude. It's always harder to see them, isn't it? When it like starts getting dark or whatever. I've noticed this. Like When it's pitch black, there's <laughs> you've got no chance. But at least in the uh, sunset, we can still see something. You can only just make out the writing, can't you? Southwest. You can only just see it. These are lovely planes. I will never get sick of the sight of a Southwest plane. Even in an airport full of Southwest planes. It looks so small, doesn't it, from like up above. So you can see it's nearly near runway uh, 10 center. It's just sort of on that final straight, as it were. If we go to F9, uh, we can just get a sort of sideways glance now. I'm still thinking about a foggy stream, but, you know, I probably won't do it. We'll see.
God, he's zooming down, isn't he? My word, he's in a rush to get out of here. Come on, man. You don't need to be in that much of a rush, I promise you. Southwest 3240, runway 10 center, line up and wait. Runway 10 center, line up and wait. Southwest 3240. Yeah, I don't, I'm not, not too sure how busy this hour is going to be, to be honest. Um, but you know what, I wanted to do a Twilight stream, so if we only get two planes, we only get two planes. <laughs> Twilight streams are the best. Our first big plane, almost, Fixed almost one, ready to go. Oh yeah. Southwest 3240, runway 10 center, cleared for takeoff. Runway 10 center, cleared for takeoff. Southwest 3240. Right. Let's get the camera mode on to follow him. Uh, I can see we have got another pushback, so that's good. Um, we'll get the friendly plane moving as well, I think. Southwest 3240, contact Pittsburgh departure at 119 decimal 35. Thank you. Departure on 119.35, Southwest 3240. Good evening. Good evening. There he goes. Okay. Uh, so here are your overlays. Uh, we've got a brickyard uh, who wants to push back. I guess we can do that now. Brickyard 3541, push back approved. Expect runway 10 center. And we've got the friendly who needs to uh, taxi to ramp. But I might. No, it's fine. I was going to say, I might make him hold short of Victor, but it'll be okay because that brickyard can go out um, a different way. Friendly 238, taxi to ramp. Taxi to ramp. Right. Let's. Um, Let's just get a quick shot of this guy so he doesn't feel neglected. So we'd hate for that to happen, wouldn't we? If I maybe go down here to the side, what I'll do. It's funny, really, because they don't have the big white lights, do they, that the uh, other aircraft have? Another angle. And they've just got like two little side lights. They're still quite powerful though, aren't they? Very cool. Right, the uh, brickyard that's pushing back, he is there. So he should be ready uh, very soon, actually. There you go. How about that? <laughs> Amazing. It kind of looks like it's a United Express. It is! Oh my god, I'm so good. Holy cow. Right. Brickyard 3541, continue taxi. Blimey. So there he goes. Right. Um, let's get the overlays back on. Blue streak 5585, runway 10 left, clear to land. Runway 10 clear to land. How far away is he? 369 miles. Right, we've got an American plane. Woohoo! American 1869, uh, pushback approved, expect runway 10 center. 
There's enough to keep us busy at the moment, so that's good. Alright, let's go back into manual for a little bit while we're waiting for the next big thing. I might just get a quick, quick little clip of this dude. This is the uh, United Express. It doesn't have that far to go, to be honest. Oh, yeah. What a beautiful sound. There's the uh, control tower as well in the background. Going for another pass. Is he going to turn left or right? I think he'll turn Pittsburgh right. Bound. Southwest, one nine three nine with information alpha, requesting push and start. Yeah. Right, let's continue. How are you doing, Mr. American? Mm, should be ready in a moment. Uh, we do have another pushback, though, over here. Southwest 19939, pushback approved. Expect runway 10 center. Let's see you sorted. Pushback approved. Expect oh, runway the American's ready center. now. Southwest there goes the tug. Pittsburgh ground. American 1869 ready to taxi. American 1869, uh, continue taxi. I may have to watch him, actually. Look at the uh, map. He's quite close uh, to the brickyard. Like, their paths may, may cross, so I need to keep my eye on that. Uh, Southwest has popped up on the radar as well for landing. He's very far away, though. I don't need to worry about him right now. And our friendly friend, friendly friend, is doing quite well. He'll be home soon. So it's, uh, it's all to play for, really, at the moment. Uh, I'm going to keep my eye, though, on these two planes. We can kind of see them in this one picture here. I'm just wondering if they'll meet, like, somewhere over here, maybe. I don't think they will. Actually, I don't know. He's actually going round. Like, if they came down this... If he came down here, that would have been fine. But if he's going the long way... I don't know. I think it's going to be okay. Like, I think... I think this dude's actually going to win. I think the Brickyard's going to win. He's going to get there first. It's happening. Look, he's speeding up. He's determined to get there. Well, sir, I guess you're my next plane. Congratulations on winning the race. Brickyard 3541, runway 10 center, line up and wait. Runway 10 center, line up and wait. Yes, so. Where are you? There you are. Southwest 19939, continue taxi. Continue taxi. Southwest 19939. Okay, good. The friendly is uh, nearly home. I'm amazed, really, that he's parking in the sort of main terminal area next to all the big planes. It's quite strange. Uh, Blue Streak is on his way in. I can't see him yet. Uh, he should be visible, but then again, the sun is... Oh, wait, I do see him now. I see the glowing lights, blinking lights. It's quite hard when the sun's setting, because, like, the glare um, makes it a little bit harder to see. Um, I think we'll do this landing, and then do our two takeoffs, and then we'll have another landing. Southwest 410, runway 10 left, clear to land. Runway 10 left, clear to land. You Southwest can see the landing lights like off the, on the ground as well. That's so cool. Very, very cool. All right, I am very curious where this little friendly plane is going to park. All right, interesting. 
Right, we're going to get rid of him now. Off the flight strip. Let's do a takeoff. Brickyard 3541, runway 10 centre, cleared for takeoff. Runway 10 centre, cleared for takeoff. Brickyard yes, sir. And who's behind him? American. American 1869er, runway 10 centre, line up and wait. Runway 10 centre, line up and wait. American 1869er. It's all looking good. We'll go and see that uh, blue streak that's just landed as well in a minute. And check in with him. I love how it gets just a shade darker every time you look. Brickyard 3541, contact Pittsburgh, departure on 119.35. Departure on 119.35, Pittsburgh, 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 Good evening. Oh, good evening. Right. Next. Another takeoff. American 1869er, runway 10 center, cleared for takeoff. That gets rid of him. Center, and then we'll sort American out a uh, blue streak, and then we'll have a landing. It's good to have a plan. Ooh, I have two new voicemails. Right, you will have to wait until after I'm finished here. Come on, there we go. American 1869er, contact Pittsburgh, departure on 119.35. Departure on 119.35. Good evening. Right, let's go over here. This is Blue Streak, the one that landed. We need to get rid of him because there's another landing in a moment. Blue Streak 5585, taxi to ramp. Taxi to ramp. Blue let's see if we can go into uh, manual, get a couple of shots of him. There he is. Ooh. That's sun. I'm assuming... Oh, he's coming this way. Okay. Gosh. <laughs> you can see the fin. That's about all you can see. Let's go to the other side. I'm trying to make out the lettering on the side. There you go. American Eagle. God, he's whizzing. Whizzing. Dear me. You don't need to go mad, American Eagle. Slow it down, man. Slow it down. Right, on the subject of slowing down, uh, we do have uh, our next landing plane. Let's go and say hello to him. Southwest 410 coming in right now, as it happens. And I might just leave him um, at his exit for a little bit. Because we're about to get quite quiet. I need to be careful. Right, so you can see we've got uh, the Blue Streak making his way back to uh, his stand. We've also got the Southwest, who's ready to go into the runway, actually. Southwest 19390, runway 10, centre, line up and wait. Runway 10 centre, line up and wait. All right, let's do that. Let's change our angle a little bit. Take that off for a minute. Trying to avoid the sun here. Uh. 
<laughs> this is a cool, cool angle, isn't it? Southwest 19039, runway 10 cleared for takeoff. Runway 10 center, clear cleared for takeoff. Southwest 19039. See you later, sir. Off he goes. We're going to follow him. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry. And now. Already 25 minutes into the stream, 7.25 p.m. in-game time. It goes fast, it really does. And rotate. Southwest 19039, contact Pittsburgh departure on 119.35. Departure on 119.35, Southwest 19039. Good evening. Good evening. Right, you can see there's no outgoing planes at all, uh, but we do have our blue streak, uh, who is actually, I think he's just about to turn into his stand. I'm going to go into manual mode here. Yeah, he's literally turning in right now to his stand. Bravo 2-7. Right next to the spirit wings. Thank goodness we turned the lights on, because with the lights off, it's very, very dark. The lights are on. Yeah, good job, it's not too bad. You've lined up pretty okay there, sir. Pretty okay. I'm just going to wait for the... Uh... It's interesting, really, because usually the airplane is at height. Do you know what I mean? But it's actually quite low down here. It's actually quite low down. How low do these things actually go? I'm very curious. It's gonna be like climbing a mountain coming off this aeroplane. Look how steep that angle is. <laughs> oh, I'm just too fast, I am. Look at the, like, level of detail here. Like, you can see bits of rust and, like, wear and tear. That's so cool. Well, well done. You managed it. I'm not too sure about the uh, suction on the plane there. That might need some work. And we're a little bit into the glass there. But, okay. It's fine. Right. So, you're done. Let's get you off the flight strip. The only plane we've got left is the one that landed. And this is why I kept him. Because I just had a sneaky feeling. Um, we'll be on our own a little bit. Did someone just come in my room? I don't know. Anyway, um, let's take that off because we don't need it right now. Southwest 410, taxi to ramp. Taxi to ramp. Southwest and 410. Unfortunately, he has a very short, uh, taxi. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> But hey, that's life. That's what happens. He has a very, very short taxi run. Dang it. Like, look how short it is. Like, he's going to be there in like a minute. Naughty, naughty plane. And he's proper racing as well. You, sir, need to slow down. Are you coming this way? No, it's the next one. Okay. Sorry, mate. Do we have a sign for this one? What are we? Charlie 1. Okay. Southwest.com Right, so... I think it's one of these ones over here. Possibly Alpha 17. I think Alpha 17. Let's see if I'm right. Well, I'll, I'll probably be wrong. Usually I am, but let's see. Alpha 17. It's 
Pittsburgh ground. Friendly Ooh. 158 with information alpha. Ready to start. Thank you. You've literally just saved me, Mr. Small Aeroplane. Yes, he's going on to Alpha 17. GG's. Look, there, there's the proof, guys. A17. Alright. Well done. So we can just get rid of him now off the flight strip. We've been saved by an itsy bitsy little plane. It's not the one from earlier. Well, it's the same like airline as the one from earlier, but it's not like the same one exactly. Do you know what I mean? Um, so here we go. It's another friendly and it's friendly 158. I can't remember if this one needs approval or pushback to be honest. Like it is attached to a pushback truck. So I'm going to assume it needs pushback. Friendly 158, pushback approved, expect runway 10 centre. Negative. Oh. Pushback truck, just approved. Friendly 158. Well, why are you attached to a pushback truck if you don't need one, Mr. Friendly? That's not very friendly behaviour, if you ask me. Friendly 158, approved, expect runway 10 centre. <gasps> Imagine if that happened in real life, man. He would, he would completely wreck that truck and himself and everyone would die. Like, how is this? How is this a thing? There's something going on here. Maybe the propellers are just like made out of, I don't know, feathers. And that's why they're not cutting into the machinery of the tug. Oh, what's going on here? What the... What the... What was going on there? That's something very dark. Oh, watch along! No, you broke your wing! <gasps> you broke your wing! So you've broken your propeller, and you've broken your wing. Itsy bitsy planes. Always a source of entertainment. Dear me. Is this the Southern Airways Express? It is. Dear me. Never going on one of those. If this is how they behave. Quite nice to see the bigger airlines there. Silhouetted in the distance. Very, very cool. Nice, right, sir. Are Friendly you ready? ready to taxi. Okay, good. Friendly 158, continue taxi. This is the only thing we've got to watch at the moment, guys. There is one plane coming in, but he's super far away. So, uh, this is what we have for our entertainment. Lols. These lights are actually quite good, aren't they? Look at, they cast quite a nice, wide, like... Space. I'm actually quite impressed with those lights. It's quite decent. There's light from light in front or whatever. They don't really look substantial, but they're actually quite decent. Pittsburgh Tower, Rickyard 5727 on final, one zero left. That's good to know. There's another plane on final as well. With no call sign. That's sad. It better not be a small one. You know, we've not had any small ones uh, in the first stream. I think we had one small one in the last stream on Wednesday. And we've had a couple now today of small ones. Maybe the small ones only uh, come in at late at night. Brickyard 5727, runway 10 left, clear to land. Runway 10 left. Left or right? He's heading right. Looks like this there's a spirit wing ready to go soon as well. There you go. Let's go see him. A nice big one. Oh, no way, it's the white one. Let's go. Spirit wing 350, pushback approved. Expect runway 10 center. Pushback approved, expect runway 10 center. Spirit wings 350. Mm-hmm. Let's tidy up my flight strip a little bit. Right, the uh, plane with the call sign uh, WIG, WIG, 
should be talking to us in a few moments. Um, kind of wondering if he has another call sign because there isn't one listed on the uh, flight strip. Uh, but we'll see. I just need to wait for him to get a little bit closer. The friendly is making progress not too far away now from the main runway. And the spirit wings is pushing back. Very nice. He does have another call sign, but I didn't quite catch it. Hold on, where's the... Did I load the, the uh, schedule program? I don't think I did. Let's open it really quickly. That'll tell me. Tower Simulator 3 Assistant. Wiggins. Wiggins, it's called. Wiggins, okay. Wigging 7464, runway 10 left, clear to land. Runway 10 left, clear to land. Wigging 7464. Thank you. Pittsburgh ground, Spirit Wings 350 ready to taxi. Already here, bro. Spirit Wings 350, continue taxi. We'll try and get some shots of this one in a bit. Continue taxi, Spirit Wings Actually, why don't we just do it now? Let's just go into manual mode. Uh, it should be quite close. Bye, there he is. Uh, he's following this yellow line here. I'm not sure how good these shots are going to be, to be honest. Um, but we'll do our best. That's all we can do. Spirits. Okay, you can see the. It's very hard to see, wasn't it? Let's try from a different angle. Like we've got a bit of sunlight over here. Still difficult. But hey, at least in the light, it's a. Oh, there we go, spirit. Yeah. Oh, that's that actually quite cool. Spirit.com. There you go. That was actually really, really cool. Right. Um, this dude, our friendly friend, friendly friend, is ready to go. Friendly 158, runway 10 center, line up and wait. Runway 10 center, line up and wait. Friendly 158. Yes, Do you know what, guys? We're going to make him wait, because I can see there's a plane about to land. So let's go and see him. Rickard 5727 coming in to land. You can see in the background as well uh, the Wiggings one, which I suspect is a small plane. Welcome to Pittsburgh. Right. I guess we'll have to move him off the runway straight away as well. Actually, his taxi is uh, super small. Look at that, on top left. Right, that'll only take him one minute to get, get to his taxi uh, stand. Brickyard 5727, taxi to ramp. Off you go, sir, taxi straight away. Brickyard 5727. Thank you. Friendly 158, runway 10 center, cleared for takeoff. Runway 10 center, cleared for takeoff. Friendly 158. 10 center.
Another southwest just popped itself onto the radar there. Not quite good balance so far. Planes arriving and departing, though. I think the landings are winning. And rotate. Sad. Come on. Friendly 158, contact Pittsburgh departure on 119 at decimal 35. You didn't hear me. Negative. You can command. Friendly 158. I am not playing games with small aeroplanes. Uh, departure on 119.35. Friendly 158. That wasn't a very friendly way to say goodbye. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. So the Spirit Wings is ready to go. Spirit Wings 350, runway 10 sensor, line up and wait. No other outgoing aircraft. Uh, the Wiggins plane is coming in in a moment. I'm going to stay here. Um, I think this is a small plane, to be honest. I'm not 100%, but I think it's a small plane. So I don't recognize the call sign, so it, it must be a small plane, right? Then we've got a Southwest. Currently um, out of radar contact, but you'll be... Uh, Making contact within the next uh, two minutes or so, I'd imagine. Look at those long shadows cast by the trees. Very, very cool. Oh, yeah. it's a, I can just tell by the engine sound. It's a single prop. Looks like it's one of the Cessna types. Like a 152 or something. Very nice going over the uh, guiding lights there. Very, very cool. Uh, I'm in no rush to get rid of him, to be honest. Because uh, we're going to be following this guy around in a few moments. Unless anything happens uh, to divert our attention. Uh, but for the it's moment... On final one zero left. For the moment, let's get rid of this dude. Spirit Wings 350, runway 10 center, cleared for takeoff. Runway 10 center, cleared for takeoff. Spirit Wings 350. Southwest 406, runway 10 left, clear to land. Runway 10 left, clear to land. Southwest 406. Thank you. Everything's looking good. I was expecting, I don't know, like a sunset rush. But no. It's been pretty chill, hasn't it? Just what we like on our Be Bad Friday streams. Runway pretty dark now. It was uh, like sort of golden shade earlier on in the stream, but it's completely dark now. Spirit Wings 350, contact Pittsburgh departure on 119 decimal 35. Spirit Wings 350. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Uh, no outgoing aircraft whatsoever. There's a Southwest coming in. He's about maybe three or four minutes away. But we do have our Wiggings friend. Another little tiny aircraft. What is it with the tiny aircraft today? Like, they're keeping the stream going today. They're actually being useful. Um, though the friendly one wasn't very friendly, let's be honest. So, we've got something to watch, even though it's completely dark. Well, not completely dark, but almost dark. Wiggins 7464, continue taxi. Oh, wait, no, no, wrong command. Continue, wrong command. Wiggins 7464. Wiggins 7464, taxi to ramp. That's better. Okay, just ignore me. <laughs> Oh, dear, dear, dear. Taxi to ramp. There you go. Send. Get out of here, man. Look at that sky. It's so beautiful. I mean, where's the 
sun. Yeah, it's getting it's getting super super low now. See, just a little bit of a halo as well. That's quite cool. I love having graphics on like full. Uh, he's got a long, long way to go. Much like uh, that plane we had on, was it Wednesday? He's got to go all the way down here. Do you remember? There was, there was a little plane that had to go, like, it was like taxiing for like 10 minutes or something. All the way down here to where uh, all the, uh, all the, like, little planes sit, which is in this area here. I don't see any right now. Uh, but yeah, this is where they all sit. Oh, there's one, a medium sized one. Anyway, um, we have got a uh, southwest coming in soon. Uh, can we see him yet? There he is. That's the good thing about nighttime, isn't it? Or, you know, sunset, nighttime, whatever. You can see the landing lights from so far away. Um, we're on maximum magnification here. That's very, very cool. The sun is definitely sort of disappearing over the horizon, as it were. So. Yeah, I'm glad we chose 7 p.m. Southwest 433 on final 10 left. Southwest 433, runway 10 left, clear to land. And that's going to be the next one. Left. There's two Southwests. This southwest is this is 406. The next one is 433. It's going to stay with these pictures, I think. Nothing much going on with the overlays. Uh, no outgoing aircraft, just these incoming ones and the one that the tiny one that's. Uh, Taxiing! So very, very chill. Welcome to Pittsburgh. And I think we can get this one moving straight away, to be honest. Because the, uh, there's one behind, not too far away. And as usual, a very, very uh, short taxi to the southwest. It's going to take him literally a minute to get to where he needs to be, which is sad for me. Right, it's fine. All right, let's go into manual mode. That's such a cool shot that is. Let's go into manual mode. And there's the small wiggings. And here's the southwest. So he should stop. Very good. Well done. Southwest 406, taxi to ramp. Taxi to ramp. Southwest 406. Yes, sir. Just make out the letters there. Ooh, and they get swallowed by that darkness. Let's try the other angle. Getting lots of reflux today. So cool. And over here, does he? No, he doesn't go around this corner. It's the next one he goes around. I think. Nearly home. You see all the southwest there in the distance. I have a feeling it's probably next to this one on the left. Not quite. Where's he going? Alpha one five. Oh wait, that is the next one. Okay, good. You can see a bit of the sun on top. Very very nice. Beautiful. All right, Mr. Southwest, well done. Well done. You cut that engine off fast, didn't you, mate? Um, 
so let's just get rid of him off a of flight strip. The only current plane we have moving is our Wiggings friend. He's about halfway now to his uh, destination. But we do have another Southwest landing shortly. So all is not lost. But 12 minutes of the stream left. Time is running out for departing planes, that's for sure. Although we still have time to do a couple of departures. It's just getting a bit, a bit tight. Look at that background scenery. It's like full on black. Like if I take the lights off now, one sec, look at that, completely dark. It's crazy, isn't it? Crazy. Alright, sir, so what are you doing? You should be turning any moment now. Yes. I think he's going to pack himself, like, just over here or something. Maybe next to one of those tugs. Oh, we've got a plane coming in. I was so engrossed in what was going on then. We uh, missed the cinematic landing of the southwest. Never mind, there's another one coming in a bit. Uh, a brickyard, so that'll probably be our last landing plane. Uh, it just popped up on the radar there. Uh, brickyard 3687. He might well be our last plane. Okay. I want to see him park. Where's he going? He sort of sandwiched himself between the two tugs. That's fine. Right. Very good. Let's get rid of Wiggings. And uh, we're still stuck with only one aircraft. Let's see, so it's working quite well in a way. You know, we're not, we're not like without aircraft. It's just hard to see. Uh, and let me guess, yeah, short taxi, so we're going to have some quiet time in a minute, unfortunately, unless we get a pushback. Come on, pushbacks. Southwest 433, taxi to ramp. Taxi to ramp, Southwest 433. This will literally take him about a minute. About a minute, I would say. Oh, the sky is, well, it's not golden anymore, is it? It's just definitely uh, turning shades of grey and black now. God, he's whizzing, isn't he? I think you should slow right down. I need content in it, man, in it. Look at that sun. Beautiful. Right, sir, uh, I have a suspicion you're going to be turning here like the other one did. Oh, so nice. And there's all his southwest friends. The question is, where is he going to park? Tower, so this might make a zero very zero. cool thumbnail. Hold on. Probably won't. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see which one I actually end up putting on the uh, stream. Brickyard 3687, runway 10 left, clear to land. Runway 10 left, clear to land. Brickyard 3687. Well, there you go. Uh, you can see there's only that one plane. Uh, this is the uh, Brickyard. He's uh, 367, about eight, eight miles away. Um, so that's, that's, a, that's a few minutes uh, for sure. So nothing much really. 
going on now, unfortunately. <laughs> I've done my best, guys. Uh, but he may well be our last plane today, unless we get any uh, pushbacks in the next, well, minute or two, really. This is it's another low one, isn't it? I am quite fascinated with these things. Like, they are so cool. It must actually need quite a bit of skill just to get it right. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a bit of a menial job, but at the same time, it's an important job because, you know, you don't want anyone falling off. So, you know, quite a responsible job, whoever operates this thing. So I know there's, like, a control panel, isn't there, on, like, the inside or whatever. And, uh, that's, and there's, like, a joystick or something, and that's that's how you use it. Well, while we're waiting for our brickyard friend, I might just do some, uh, I don't know, panoramics. I like my panoramics. Let's have a little look around. I might actually take a couple of screenshots. Just in case. I like having a bit of a choice when it comes to thumbnails. Two spirit wings. One American Eagle, so sad. This is kind of like a little control tower as well, isn't it? it kind of reminds me of the St. Thomas one. Some bigger American planes. It's funny that you can still hear the birds in the background. <laughs> oh dear. Airport. Ooh, that's a glint of sunlight then. See the glint of sunlight? Where's he getting that from? I don't know how the sun's getting to him because, like, it's all the way over there and there's a building in the way. So, I'm a bit sceptical of that sunlight. <laughs> really. Anyway. Can I go in this building? Kinda. Kinda. Not many cars parked in the car park today. Actually, I'll take that back. There's quite a few, but it's a big car park. There's a lot of spaces. Right, can I s actually see the plane that's landing? Yes! And he's more than f uh, three miles away. Um, but again, because it's night time, you can just see them, can't you? From further away than in the daytime. It's actually really cool. Like, I'm zoomed out. I'm far away. And you can still see that little blinking light. I wonder how far away... Like, Can I go to like the very end? Let's see. Let's see. Let's go as far away as it'll let us. Yeah, it's about here. Can we still see him? We can. That's so crazy. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, he's coming in. Quite potentially. Well, he is our last landing plane. Probably our last plane. Full stop, to be honest. Right, where are the landing lights? Well, there's no landing lights for one zero left. Oh, wait, they are there. I see them. They're just being coy. Right, I'm going to try and get this from a different angle. Let's see how well I, I, I actually manage to do this. I'm not very good with the landing angles. You know what? I think I did all right there. <laughs> I think I did all right. That was decent. Very decent. I'm gonna stick, stay, stay in manual. Well, I'm very pleased that we started the stream in like sunset. We had the full twilight, and it's now nighttime. It doesn't always work out that way. Uh, but perfect, really. Absolutely perfect. Brickyard 3687, taxi to ramp. 
Nothing going on at all on the flight strip. Very, very quiet. Uh, so I think once this guy parks up, that will be the end of the stream. Uh, there's three minutes left, so I wonder if he'll make it. I don't think he will, to be honest. I don't think he will. And if he doesn't, that's fine. Uh, but we'll follow him right until the very, very end. I hope you've all had a good Be Bad Friday. It's certainly been a while since we've done a Be Bad Friday stream. Hopefully that zero is not a zero anymore in the top right. <laughs> but it's fine if it is. Um, I don't know if I'll be in the live chat or not. It really does depend. I'm quite busy at the moment, which is why I've done pre-recorded streams this week. So you can still get your Tower Simulator 3 content. And, you know, other people do that as well. Pre-recorded. It's all good. And we've done the new airport. Um, I don't know what we're doing for next week yet. Because next week, I might be learning how to be a swim teacher. Uh, if the course goes ahead or not. I don't currently know at this moment in time. Because not enough people have currently subscribed. But uh, if enough people sign up between now and next week... Then I will be away the whole week. The whole week. I'll be very, 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 very busy indeed. So, uh, so yeah. Next week is a big question mark. Looks like he's uh, coming into the apron with all the uh, southwest planes. Uh, but he's not actually parking here. He's kind of like detouring around, which is quite cool. Like a little, a little tour of the terminal, as it were. But he's got, he's not going to get there. He's not going to get to his stand in time, unfortunately. Let's see, where does he want to go? He's going to go around here, then down here, then all the way down here, round to the spirit wings, and I think his spot is like, I'm just looking at the, I think, I think it's this one here, I think it's Alpha 2, so like, you, you can't even see him, but uh, we are going to call it there guys, because I haven't got time to wait for him, it's just a one hour stream, um, so yeah, sorry sir, sorry sir, you'll, you'll just have to try next time. Uh, thank you for joining me this week. Uh, thank you for joining me today. And uh, yeah, I hope you all have an amazing, amazing weekend. Thank you so much. Have a good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.